What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Coming straight from Detroit. It's your neighborhood favorite, DJ King David. And I got another story for you all out there. The story going to be a little different. We're going to talk about some Detroit street history with this one. Now, I'm pretty sure that everybody watching this has probably heard of the infamous Detroit gang, the YBI, or the Young Boys Incorporated. Well, in Detroit, in the early 80s, that name was like spoken on a, on a regular basis. You know, they were all in the newspapers, um, the six o'clock news, the hood news. You know, everyone had pretty much heard of YBI, especially in 1982. So we're gonna go back to 1982 on the 4th of July. This is the first time I actually saw YBI, right? I'm at my aunt's house, my Aunt May, rest in peace to Aunt May. She had a family um, get together for the 4th of July. And she happened to live on Dexter, right on Pasadena, about three or four houses from the corner. So I can remember um, all the young kids. I'm eight years old in 1982 on the 4th of July. I just turned eight that April, right? So I'm like going into the second grade. And um, we was just all out front playing. You know how kids play. You know, all the grown-ups in the backyard, barbecuing, playing cards, doing what grown-ups do. The young kids, we out front goofing off, playing. And um, we're a couple of houses down from Dexter. And we can hear people clapping and, and, and cheering and like a commotion. So we look up and we see some limousines going down Dexter real slow. And all you can hear is the music. I remember hearing Rick James' Ghetto Life. I remember hearing Dance With Me. I remember hearing Rick James and The Temptations standing on the top. I can remember hearing Planet Rock. Those are like the four songs to this day I can remember hearing at this incident because the limousines will go past us this way and a couple minutes later go back down the other way. And every time they passed us, it was like different music. It was like three or four limousines the, um, all the windows was down. Dudes was hanging out the limousine windows. The sunroof was open. If you ever seen a certain mix a lot posse on Broadway video when it was in the, in the limousine at the sunroof, or if you seen the, the King T video with Ice T at the end in the limo, that's how, that's how I was looking. They had on the Adidas shirts and they had on the campaign hats. And a couple of dudes had on camouflage short sleeve with the, the camo baseball hat. And they had the champagne and they, they rocking with the music. And it was like a, a, a mini car show with these limousines. And they had mopeds. They had mopeds in the front, kind of like leading the way. And they had mopeds in the back. And the dudes in the mopeds, they had on like all Adidas. I can remember seeing like the top tens, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the Adidas shirts. You know what I'm saying? And it just was like, oh, they had mad gold. Big, big, crazy gold, right? And as a kid, I was fascinated. It was like watching a, um, watching a movie, but it wasn't a movie. It was like right in front of you. And it was just like a lot of commotion. And they just, they like they was having the time of their life, man. You know what I'm saying? As an eight-year-old, over my aunt's house on the other side of town. And I remember somebody saying, that's, that's YBI, YBI. You know what I'm saying? Some of the people that was, um, I guess, from, you know, from the neighborhood that was familiar with them. They be out there fooling, check them out. And they just parading up and down Dexter. You know what I'm saying? They probably did that the whole day. But um, I remember the, the, the few times that we saw them go back and forth. It was like exciting. You know, it was crazy because as I got older, um, and, and start hearing more and, and, and learning more, I realized that that really was YBI. That's what they kind of things they used to do. You know what I'm saying? Ride through the hood in limousines and drink champagne and just just be doing them. You know what I'm saying? But I wanted to tell the story because it's the 4th of July and um, I got a chance to see a piece of history. Now, even later than that, like after that initial incident, I can remember... Um, being back in my hood on the craft and um, 
seeing a whole bunch of Corvettes up and down school craft, just kind of like in grill, like, you know, just about 30 or 40 Corvettes. And I found out later on that that was YBI also. So this all happened in 82, um, the last summer that they all were free before the indictment came down that winter. But um, yeah, that's my Detroit story with YBI, man. I can actually say that I, as a young kid, I actually saw those dudes, you know what I'm saying, stunting the front and in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Dexter was their hood and they were celebrating doing what they was doing. I happened to be there and I got I got a glimpse of it. So yeah, I just wanted to let everybody know out there that the Detroit stories is real. You know, um, when people talk about these type of things, it's really no exaggeration. You have to be there. You know, so Detroit always been a different city, always been on some extra. And I had a chance to see the pioneers of that young generation of, of the flamboyant, flashy lifestyle right in front of me. You know what I'm saying? So I hope y'all enjoyed this little story that I just pulled out the memory tank, the memory bank. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's that's some real shit. I can't even put no no more realer than that, man. That's how I end up seeing my BI about being at my aunt's house on Dexter and, and, and witnessing them ride up and down the Ave, just fooling. You know what I'm saying? Just music loud, champagne. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looked like they just came from the mall. Like they just probably just came from Northland. You know what I'm saying? Got all the new fresh Adidas. Just just looking successful. You know, so uh, that's that Detroit shit, man, for real. So I hope y'all like the story. You know, I said I got other stories on this page. Check those out. Subscribe to the page if you haven't. Like this video. Comment. If you're from Detroit and you got a YBI story or you know what I'm saying? You want something you want to say. Go ahead and get in them comment section and uh, represent Detroit, man. 1982. Like I said, the songs I remember hearing was Rick James in the ghetto. Um, actually, Ghetto Life. Yeah, in the ghetto. Yeah, that joint. Um, Dance With Me, Standing on the Top, Rick James and the Temptations, and Planet Rock. You know what I'm saying? Soul Sonic Force. So that's it, man. I ain't gonna talk y'all that stuff, man. I'm about to be up out of here, go do what I do. You know what I'm saying? In Detroit, we in there. Three, one, three. All right, salute.